name is Robin Swoboda. I'm sorry we can't all be together in person for this very special day, but I want to thank you for joining us here and taking a part in remembering the lives of the unborn that we've lost to abortion. Later this month, my granddaughter, Layla, will be three years old. It was in February of 2017 that I was walking my dogs in a park when I heard a voice say, your daughter's pregnant. I did what many moms might do in 2017 and I texted her rather than confronting her with that question. It took her three hours and 45 minutes to respond. And in that response, she said, I'm not really sure, but how do you know? I told her God had told me that 40 years prior, I had found myself in a very similar situation. I was 18. I had just graduated from high school. I had gone to two weeks of college when I found myself pregnant with the love of my life who didn't want to marry me. My mother said that good girls don't have babies out of wedlock. So she and my former boyfriend drove me to Kansas City to an abortion clinic where I had an abortion a guilt and a shame that haunted me for years. I didn't want my daughter to feel that same guilt and shame. I told her I would help her in whatever way I could. I'm happy to say that I am helping to raise a beautiful, alive, funny, happy, sometimes cranky, three-year-old. My my heart aches when I think about all the granddaughters who never had a chance to be, all the sons and daughters who never had a chance to be. Let us remember them to honor who they were while they were being knit together in their mother's wombs, sadly to be taken at the hands of an abortionist. May we remember the women who suffer and pray for our God of mercy and comfort to know that they are forgiven and may in the future they choose life. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for caring about our unborn.